As the film opens, Beth is traveling to Croatia with her closest friend Kate for a weekend trip. After arriving at her location without incident, Beth boards the cab her friend called and meets Zane, the kind driver. Zane kindly shares his contact information in case she needs assistance while she's there. After that, Kate cordially invites Beth to stay in a leased Airbnb, and Beth thanks her for paying for the trip. However, Kate admits that she continues to use her ex-husband Jay's credit card to make all of her purchases covertly. Then Beth gives them a black necklace with a few extra beads, which Kate eagerly dons as she gets ready that evening. Following a FaceTime with Beth's husband and their newborn child in London, Kate and Beth go outdoors to eat. They encounter their odd landlord Sebastian, who is also a film composer, as they go. Sebastian then greets the girls and wishes them a pleasant stay. In an effort to rob Jay of all of his money over dinner, Kate purposefully chooses the most costly items. Kate maintains it's okay and that she understands their duties with the new baby, but Beth feels like a poor friend for not being there for Kate during her divorce. When Kate inquires about the state of her marriage, Beth replies that it is going through a challenging time and that they haven't shared a bed in a year. If she's unhappy, Kate says that she may consider getting a divorce, but Beth thinks it would be taking things too far. Just as the waiter is about to tell them that their credit card has been declined, Kate gets into a fight with someone on the phone, suggesting that Jay has finally discovered her scheme. Beth now offers to divide the cost. Kate, however, declines and says she doesn't want to disturb mom. After that, they go in Zane's cab to a party. On the way there, Zane chats with Beth and discloses that he is from Syria and has fled his war-torn country. Beth also admits that she is American and has spent the last 15 years residing in London. Long after the girls had sat down with two gorgeous men in the club, Kate implores Beth to have sex with the men, but Beth declines since she is married. But according to Kate, Beth may be independent for only one night and Rob doesn't need to be made aware of this interaction. The last thing Beth remembers is Kate inviting the men back to their flat the next morning as the two men now offer the ladies some drinks. Beth wakes up with a terrible hangover and a foggy memory of the previous evening. Nevertheless, neither Kate nor her phone are being answered at the residence. Beth is terrified to see blood and shattered glass on the floor about midday. When she phones Rob to voice her concerns, Rob reassures her that she shouldn't be worried because Kate is likely out on her own. Then, when Beth asks Sebastian if he's seen Kate, he replies that he hasn't. To make matters worse, he informs her that parties are not allowed and that he would charge her extra for the two, which just makes things worse. When Beth visits the police station to report a missing individual, Pavik, the officer in charge, declines to open a case and orders Beth to wait for 24 hours since she has no other choice. Beth discusses the scenario to Zane over the phone. The two then go back to the club from the previous night, where they learn from the bartender that the two men from the previous night are escorts who frequently go to the club and amuse visitors. The next day, after doing some research, Zane and Beth learned about the escorts, and while they were waiting for the guys, they set up a meeting with them. Beth discusses her bond with Kate with Zane. She then asks Zane about his family, and he replies that his wife was a victim of the Syrian war. The two escorts show up there shortly after, but as soon as they notice Beth, they bolt. Zane pursues them and ultimately manages to seize one of the escorts. The escorts swear they didn't drug Kate or harm her in any way, but the man finally admits they just waited at their apartment until 3 a.m., and while Kate was preoccupied, they stole her possessions and departed. When Kate's purse and phone were no longer needed, Zane and Beth went to the pawn store. Beth checks Kate's cell phone and sees that she has missed calls, but she can't get the phone unlocked. Zane warns Beth not to reveal his identity since he could be deported later when she decides to go to the police station to deliver this information. This time, Kovac, a female officer, submits the finest report, and she reprimands Pavic for not doing his duty. Beth tells them about the bag and the names of the escorts, but she keeps quiet about the phone. Beth will have a medical examination, with Kovac wondering if she was abused. The findings will be available in 24 hours. Beth notifies Kate's ex-husband Jay of the incident after she gets home from the hospital, but Jay isn't concerned since he believes Kate is theatrical and simply seeking attention. He acknowledges that he hasn't spoken to Kate in a while and that any correspondence must go through their lawyers. This makes Kate's argument at dinner with Beth wonder, now that it is beyond checkout time and the new tenants are on their way, Beth goes to her flat to find Sebastian gathering their possessions. She acknowledges that Kate is still missing and that she will stay put. Around midnight, Sebastian offers her a reduced room on the first floor of his home. Sebastian starts to play music as she climbs the stairs, rousing Beth. Beth refuses Sebastian's invitation to supper and says she'll go outside later. Rob unexpectedly shows up as she is on her way to supper with Zane. He had left their child with a babysitter. 
Zane's presence obviously disturbs him, but the driver doesn't seem to care and drives away. Rob apologizes, comforts Beth as she starts to weep because she is upset about the whole thing, and then he asks her to describe what actually happened following the call. When the police arrive at the murder site and interrupt their talk, they announce that Kate has been discovered dead in the water. Meth sees the body of her dearest friend and is overcome with grief. The next morning, Rob regrets not being more amiable with Kate since he found her unpleasant. Although Beth urges him to go back to London so that he can take care of their kid, he also contemplates staying longer. In the following scene, Pavik picks up Beth and confirms that Kate was murdered. However, because Kate had relationships with several men before her death, they are unsure of whether it was a conscious decision or maltreatment. Beth asks Pavic to drive her to the mortuary on the way to the station so that she may later say goodbye to her buddy. Beth covers Kate's face with her phone to unlock it when Pavik exits to give her some solitude. When she enters the bathroom on her way out, she discovers that Handyman has been making a lot of calls. However, when she tries to call, the phone rings into Rob's voicemail, so she scrolls through the text messages to discover that Kate and her husband were having an affair. Later in the questioning chamber, Kovic says that Cadet's autopsy revealed she had ketamine and cocaine in her system, and the best checks also found ketamine, suggesting they had been drugged. Beth responds no when Kovic again inquires if there is anything she hasn't disclosed to them. Pavik informs Beth later that they would need her passport until they can confirm the complete narrative as he takes her to her residence. Then Beth phones Jay and tells him about Kate's romance with her husband, but it turns out that Jay already knew about it and decided to keep quiet about it because Beth was pregnant at the time. After hearing the story, she rushes to see Zane for lunch and tells him everything. Zane makes the assumption that Kate may have put something in her own drink to get Rob to leave her by getting her to sleep with another man. Beth confronts Rob about the relationship when she returns to her apartment and makes a furious call to him. Rob disputes the accusation at first, but after learning more information, he caves and apologizes to his wife. Now that Rob is pleading with her to go home, Beth claims she is unable to do so since the police have her passport and will have all the information necessary to bring charges against her the moment they learn about the relationship. Regarding her relationship with Zane, Beth is detained and interrogated. She is told by the police that Zane is a part of an Albanian gang that participates in a number of illegal activities, including human trafficking. Authorities think Kate ordered Zane to kill Kate so that she could have an affair with Rob. When the greatest attorney finally shows up there, she is given a car and told to phone her before saying or doing anything else. Beth confronts Zane with the police accusations after finding him waiting for her when she gets to her room. Zane claims that he once assisted the son of an Albanian crime leader who, in turn, later aided him by evacuating the nation and obtaining a visa in Croatia after he did so. Beth recalls Pavik handing Sebastian his business card and wonders how the police found out about the relationship. A little while later, Pavik finds a secret camera in her mirror and starts spying. She is engaged in this when Sebastian interrupts, as a result, she snatches a key from his ring. When he later departs, Beth walks into his recording studio and notices cameras in every space, where he is using covert cameras to snoop on the visitors. Beth learns that the two escorts did really arrive at their flat, put her to bed after she passed out, and then had themselves with Kate. The two grab Kate's possessions and leave as she goes to take a shower. After that, she boards a cab and follows them at a later time. While Beth records the license plate information, Kate drives home in a separate car and lashes out at someone. When Sebastian unexpectedly arrives at the house, Beth slams the door in his face, runs out of the house, and calls him a pervert. Beth doesn't trust Sebastian when he says that the surveillance system is there for security reasons because awful things happen when people rent items. Beth wants the tape to show her innocence, so they argue over it while Sebastian starts deleting the videos from his phone. Sebastian slips and suffers an injury. She quickly snatches the keys away from him and calls Zane. Zane then drives her to the taxi stand, where they find the driver who picked Kate up. However, after some questioning, the driver says that he took Kate to the police station, where she reported the male escorts who stole her belongings. When Beth originally reported Kate missing, the police did not inform her of this, which Beth finds incomprehensible. Officer Pavic was driving the identical car that she had seen drop off Kate in the video when the police arrived to arrest Beth. Beth finally came to the conclusion that Pavic was responsible for killing Kate and escaping. Beth accused Pavic of killing her closest friend when Pavic ultimately caught up with her on a rooftop. Pavic, however, asserts that Kate was a friend before attempting to harm her. After some battle between the two, Pavic eventually loses his balance and dies as a result. Kovic notices this in the meanwhile, and subsequently apologizes in writing to Beth for not having faith in her. Additionally, the police find video proof that Pavic drove Kate home. 
They even discovered that the police believed Kate may have rejected Popovich's advances and that Popovich killed her as a response after viewing a video of a guy hitting Kate on the promenade before shoving her into the river. It turns out that Pavic had been accused of sexual misbehavior in the past, but the accusations were finally dropped against him when he was exonerated. Beth returns to her London life. The picture then changes to a few days later, when Beth and Rob are no longer together, and she leaves their infant at his apartment. She finds a beat from a necklace she gave Kate in Croatia as she attempts to collect her vehicle keys from Rob's coat pocket. She then understands that Rob could only have acquired the beat if he had crossed paths with Kate while they were traveling through Croatia. Beth then excuses herself to use the toilet and contacts Kovac right away. Before she can continue, Rob knocks on the bathroom door. She informs the officer that Pavic did not kill Kate. Rob asserts that it was an accident in an effort to defend himself. He said that Kate had threatened to inform Beth about the relationship when he left for Croatia. He unintentionally pushed Kate into the river as they were arguing on the boardwalk, she tragically drowned after banging her head on a boulder. In a flashback, Kate expressed guilt about the secret romance she had with Rob. She wanted to call it quits. She made the decision to be honest with Beth, which prompted Rob to assault her. As a result, Kate fell into the sea after hitting her head on the rocks. Rob allowed her to drown in the water in the present despite noticing that she was still alive. Rob urges Beth not to notify the police because the case has already been closed, but it's too late because Beth was on the line the entire time with Kovac, who overheard everything. Rob now tries to violently take the phone away from her, but Beth strikes him and snatches her infant. Finally, as police cars come to take Rob into custody, Beth runs out of the house carrying a baby.